basic medical sciences welcome so in this video we are going to talk about the retropharyngeal abscess but before we do that let's review the anatomy of the retropharyngeal space right so this space is located between the bucopharyngeal fascia and the prevertebral fascia right so if you look here uh, you see the prevertebral fascia here in blue uh, the bucopharyngeal fascia it covers the uh, pharynx, uh, the upper part, and superficially, right? This space permits the movement of pharynx, larynx, trachea, and esophagus during swallowing or deglutition, right? So where is this space? Right, you can see uh, indicated here. This is the space. And on its back, it's separated from the uh, prevertebral space by the ala fascia. This one in red, that's the ala fascia. It is closed superiorly by the base of the skull, right on top, you can see it. And on each side by the carotid sheath, right? So uh, if you look, this one is the uh, horizontal section, right? So the carotid sheath will be here. Uh, surrounding uh, the vessels, the uh, common carotid artery and the internal jugular vein, right? So this is the retropharyngeal space. And if you look on the back, you can see the what? The ala fascia separating the retropharyngeal space from the prevertebral space here in green. It opens inferiorly into the superior mediastinum, which contains the thymus, great vessels of the heart, trachea, and the esophagus. Most people with retropharyngeal abscesses have pre-existing upper respiratory infections. Uh, for example, uh, they will present with rhinorrhea and nasal congestion. Retropharyngeal abscess results from direct spread of the bacterial infection from uh, pharyngitis, tonsillitis, otitis media, that's inflammation of the middle ear, or sinusitis, like the inflammation of the uh, nasal sinuses, right? Okay, so etiology. This condition is actually polymicrobial. Some of the uh, uh, bacteria include uh, streptococcus pyogenes, staphylococcus aureus, and some anaerobes. Uh, about epidemiology, this condition most commonly occur in children between the age of six months to six years. The incidence is decreases after the age of six due to a combination of retropharyngeal lymph nodes regression and fewer upper respiratory infections, right? Fewer viral upper respiratory infections. Right, so children are the ones with a lot of lymph nodes in this retropharyngeal space. But as you grow after six years, they will regress this regression. Clinical presentation. Uh, the patient will uh, present with a combination of fever, odinophagia, that's pain during swallowing, uh, dysphagia, like difficult in swallowing, drooling, neck stiffness, inability to extend the neck and also people who have a uh, muffled voice another important symptom is trismus which is an inability to open the mouth completely right it can be uh, dangerous actually due to proximity to the airway spine and major vascular structures infections in this region are potentially life threatening Infection within the retropharyngeal space can drain into the superior mediastinum. Extension from the ala fascia into the danger space can tra transmit infection into the posterior mediastinum and result in acute necrotizing mediastinitis. How do we diagnose this condition? X-ray, right? So the normal lateral neck X-ray will show uh, it looks like this, firstly. So in this case, the prevertebral soft tissue space should be narrower 
than the vertebral bodies, right? So look at um, this uh, this one with retropharyngeal abscess. In this case, uh, the uh, pre-vertebral space is widened, right? So look here, uh, this space is widened compared to here, right? So this one is normal. And this is a retropharyngeal abscess. In patients with no signs of respiratory compromise, we perform CT with a contrast to confirm the presence and the size of the abscess. This condition uh, needs early diagnosis and treatment because without that, uh, it can lead to complications like airway compromise, bacteremia, carotid artery rupture, and jugular venous thrombosis, etc. Right, so if you want uh, the picture of uh, this lecture, you can just uh, click the link in the description, visit my Facebook page, and you can download it there, right, an HD picture. Thank you so much. Until next time.